In this lesson, let's begin with just a blank document. So go up to the word File, New, and choose a space. Doesn't matter. Let's put something on our blank document using one of our basic tools. So I'm going to pick up the Ellipse tool. I will hold down the Alt key. That's the Alt key in Windows Option key on a Mac. And that allows me to draw out from center. But I'm not going to hold the Shift key because the Shift key would be a perfect circle. I do want an ellipse. All right, so we've drawn an ellipse, and now we stare at it for a while, trying to figure out what we're supposed to do to it. I want to reshape it. I wanted to start with a simple shape, but now I need to reshape it in ways that I need for my design. Now, we have a lot of ways to do this, but we do have some enhancements to a couple of the tools. One of those is the Direct Selection tool. Now, we know what this one does up here. It's this one right here. If I come over and, say, select one of the anchor points, now, my easiest way, to pick up an anchor point is not to hit the line until I see it. It is I know it's in that general area and I just kind of marquee it. That's just me. I can use my arrow keys, of course. And I can come down here and do this one too. Now, if you hold the shift key down, it won't go left or right. It'll go straight up for you. So we're making like a boomerang or something like that. So we're reshaping it, but we're not reshaping it in ways that are new. One of the enhancements to the direct selection tool is kind of cool. If in previous versions, you would go into an object and you would go onto the segment. Now, segment is actually the path between two anchor points from here to over here. If I come over here and click on it and drag it. Now, in earlier versions, those direction lines would have stayed straight left and right and up and down. Now we can control them as well as the length. So the new feature of the direct selection tool is this cursor, which is called the reshape segment cursor. And when you move it, you can actually control the angles of the actual anchor point direction lines. So that's a new feature that gives us a little bit more control over what we're doing. That's the new feature in the direct selection tool. Now, if you do hold down the shift key, that will constrain them again if you want to do that. But to me, this gives me more control over exactly the type of shape that I'm looking for. Let me press undo. I love undo. Let's go to the pen tool. Let's do this first. I'm going to press control A, and that's control A on a Windows system, command A on a Mac. Select all and delete. Pick up your pen tool. Draw something as simple as, say, a triangle, which is about the simplest shape you can draw. So we're going to click and move down to about here. Click, move over to about here and close the shape off right up here. Wait for that little circle just like that. Now, again, we could go to the direct selection tool. This would not be new. And I don't know, grab this point up here and move it a little bit to the left or to the right. Maybe center it. Nothing new about that. These are new, but we talked about those in the previous chapter. And those are the corner widgets. So we could click on that and bring that in. They're kind of fun to work with. But let's go back to the pen tool. When we're working with the pen tool, we can use modifier keys to get to other features. For example, if I come over here and click and hold on the pen tool, you have the other options like adding, subtracting. This is no longer called the convert anchor point. It's called the anchor point tool because it has a new feature. But so does the pen tool. If I come over here with the pen tool and I want to convert, say, these to straight points, I can hold on the alt key. This is not new. And you get the convert tool or the previously called convert tool. And if I come over and get on one of those, I can convert those into straight points just like that. Now let me undo that. The new feature. If I hold on the Alt key again, same thing, but I don't click on one of the anchor points, I click on a segment, guess what I get? I get the reshape segment cursor and it allows me to reshape just by going to the segment and holding down the Alt key and then dragging up and we can do something like that. So one of the new features on the pen tool is the ability to use the reshape segment cursor, which is new, while you're using the pen tool. If, however, we actually go to the newly renamed anchor point tool and come over here, it functions the way you see it, just like it's always functioned. I can come over here and click on these points and convert them into straight if that's something I desire to do. The new feature is if I go to a segment, I get the same tool the reshape segment cursor, and it does the same thing, but without the modifier key. Now, if I hold on the shift key, it constrains the direction lines for me, if that's something I want to do. 
If I let go, they move with me. Now, one other thing. If for whatever reason I want a copy of a segment after I've reshaped it, I can come up with this tool. I can select actually that segment, hold the Alt key down. doesn't look like anything's changed. But when I drag it, say down to about here, and then pull that off of there, I've actually made a copy of just the segment between the two anchor points. So the direct selection tool, the pen tool, and the newly renamed anchor point tool all have new features that allow us as designers to be more creative. And that's what I really like about Adobe. They're doing everything they can. They're pulling out all the stops, if you will, to help us as designers be more creative.